the training itself, just to get into some more of the specifics, as as Steve mentioned, you know, we're going to go through ingress, egress. How do you uh, maneuver in the capsule when you're up there uh, over the Carmen line, over the internationally recognized line of space? As you're gazing out of those windows, you see in the clip here, that is that spectacular view that our four astronauts are going to experience uh, on Tuesday. And again, you walk away knowing exactly what you need to know. But again, this vehicle has been, it's an autonomous vehicle. It's been designed uh, so that the customers, the astronauts themselves, can experience the flight and you leave the rest to the rocket and the rest of the team to operate again so you can experience that flight of a lifetime over the Kármán line. Now, uh, how does the rocket get up there? Why don't we go uh, quickly through the flight profile. Now, uh, the, uh, the rocket and the capsule uh, made it on top of it, uh, lift off at about 75 kilometers or uh, 250,000 feet or so. The two craft separate, they continue their ascent, uh, both over 100 kilometers. Um, the capsule uh, and the astronauts inside, uh, you'll get to experience about three to four minutes of weightlessness. Again, to gaze out of those big, beautiful windows, maybe do a couple of somersaults. Uh, I, get, uh, I get the impression that uh, Wally Funk in particular is pretty uh, jazzed to be able to do some of those up there in zero G. Uh, but then we will ask them to get back in their seats, buckle back in. Uh, they will descend under three uh, large parachutes. Uh, and then just in the last moments, uh, the retro thrust system uh, comes on and provides a nice air cushion for the capsule. Um, I will note to those of you that may or may not have seen our previous uh, launches that it does kick up a lot of dust down here in the West Texas desert. Uh, it's very much, it's literally is like, uh, like talcum powder. So sends up a lot of dust, but really by the time the capsule lands, it's it's just at about one or two miles an hour. So again, a very nice flight that we have in store for astronauts on Tuesday. Now, talking about uh, the broader set of astronauts, obviously uh, we've got Oliver Damon as our first uh, paying customer. Um, but what I will say is that since the auction that we held on June 12th, I have had the uh, the pleasure of chatting uh, with many of our future customers that have already signed up for the subsequent flights. Uh, we intend to have two more flights uh, this year in 2021 for a total of three flights uh, and uh, many more to come in the future. So we have already built uh, a robust pipeline of customers that are interested. I will say to those of you out there that are interested uh, in flying with us, please uh, send us an email at astronauts at blueorigin.com uh, and we will certainly uh, get back to you and uh, make sure that we can get you on one of our next flights. Um, so those are our astronaut flights. I will say that we are going to continue our uh, payload flights as well. We do have two vehicles in operation. The one that we'll be flying on Tuesday will be dedicated to flying astronauts. And we've got a uh, second rocket in the barn, as we like to say. That one will continue to be dedicated to payload missions. Now, we have had nine payload missions so far. Uh, uh, many of our customers have included NASA, other international space agencies, universities from around the world, um, as well as uh, school kids from around the world have been able to fly their payloads on board. Um, one of the wonderful things about the New Shepard platform is we are really opening access uh, to space, both for astronaut flyers and for those that want to fly their payload, their science, their technology on board. Uh, and that both of those uh, those missions, astronauts and payloads, will continue in the future. Uh, I will just flag one, which is that we are looking forward uh, to flying and working with NASA on their uh, suborbital crew program, um, uh, and certainly one day getting uh, uh, astronauts up there to fly with their engineering itself. So that should be another wonderful step uh, in the evolution of the uh, uh, New Shepard offerings. So again, uh, a lot to come uh, uh, beyond Tuesday's flight. But for Tuesday, what a moment for Blue Origin, what a, uh, what a moment for our customers. 